guys so i'm here today to film a different kind of video for me i feel like put that up there okay so let's start with i am bigger on the bottom i've gone up a dress size within the last year i was thinking of filming like a body positivity video about like going up a pant size and wanting to kill yourself but i don't know because like i'm not gonna even get into it i have a whole spiel but like i think i'll just save that for another video um I am hourglass shaped, which means I have a tiny, I guess I'm not even really hourglass shaped, I'm more pear shaped. I have a tiny waist, a tiny top, and then a lot going on in the bottom half. And because of that, I love the way that high waisted jeans look on me, but I've been trying to find the right underwear to wear under high waisted jeans that don't cut me off in weird places. Currently, I wear uh, La Senza hipsters or like cheekies they're called I think they're basically just like a low rise underwear that covers your butt but like your little butt cheeks hang out and they're cute I just find them super comfortable I buy like the ultra soft ones not the cotton ones the cotton ones are garbage but the ultra soft ones are fantastic they're my favorite ever but I know that if I'm gonna wear high-waisted jeans and I want to wear like say I want to wear a crop top with it I don't really own a lot of crop tops so I think what I want to do is I'll like tie my shirt up and like one of those cute little knots that everyone thinks is cute um but the way my body is shaped is I get like my love handles because I have uh hip dips if you don't know what hip dips are it just means that your body like you know when you see someone and they have love handles even if they are like the size zero haven't eaten a carb in their whole entire life they don't have love handles it's hip dips just the way your hips are built so my whole life I always thought I had these love handles that I hated but it's actually just hip dips some people just have hips in different places so they're more filled in i would die for filled in hips because i don't mind the weight i am or the size i am what i mind is the way that my hips go in right under my love handle so it makes me look fatter than i am thanks fucking genetics i guess um so i don't like that on my last fashion nova haul or i think that might be my first one some bitches were commenting like um I don't want to like just an FYI but like those pants are really unflattering on you and like bitch I know it's because you're trying to tell me you can see my love handles and the reason that I wore them with a tank top tucked in in my try on video was because I want to show you the viewer what a real fucking human looks like in clothing I want to show people what a real human looks like wearing these pants so that you as a real human know how they're gonna fit because like when you look on the Fashion Nova website you're like um what are these girls doing with their lives and how do I replicate that I mean it's probably a lot of surgery so like that's how you replicate it but I digress first of all I'm the kind of person that doesn't like co let comments like that get the best of me like it doesn't affect me on like a deep emotional level it more so pisses me off that like who the fuck are these people that are sitting at home on their little keyboard warriors and telling other bitches that their clothes look unflattering? It's not constructive criticism. I didn't ask for your fucking opinion, first of all. Suck my dick. Second of all, imagine saying that to someone else who was going through weight gain, who had self-esteem issues, who wasn't as fucking strong and crazy as I am. Like, who are you? I want you to post a picture of yourself in a skin tight outfit on Instagram and see how you feel because until you can do that, until you can post a video of yourself fucking buck naked on the internet and be happy with your body and not care what the haters think, you should suck a dick and never fucking speak again. Sorry, that went a little crazy because like I just hate people who comment mean shit on the internet like you want to talk shit about me with your friend at home like look at this bitch look how stupid she looks in her pants girl give it but like to post it on the internet who the fuck are you like how sad is your life really anyways i personally don't like my hip dips so thanks for pointing it out bitches and so i've been trying to find the right undergarments to wear like i don't want to have to wear like actual spanks every day and while i was trying to research good like shapewear Everything was like those, like the Kim Kardashian Spanx where it's like from your, like from your knees up to your boobs Spanx. And like, have you ever tried to get into those Spanx? <sighs> Girl. Girl, I'm not trying to bring a sweat when I fucking get dressed every morning. Although I guess that would like help burn some calories. So like maybe I should. Anyways, I found Spanx underwear online and I was like, huh. They were high-waisted. They cut nice. And I was like, I want to try this. So I personally ordered mine off of the bay. I went into the bay and I tried on a pair first. 
but they didn't have a lot of selection in store, so I ordered them online. So the first pair I got are called the Lace High Cut Hipster Briefs. So these, hold on, they're inside out. These, this is what they look like. So they have, they're high cut, they do go like right below my belly button, so they're perfect for any high waist jeans or like just a little below high waist jeans. They also come back a little bit higher in the back, which you can see, which I like, because jeans usually do that anyways. They have the lace detail here, and the butt is fully lace. Now, like, it's a cute detail, but I personally wouldn't recommend these ones. Um, in this video, I'm going to do a cutout portion just while I'm speaking in general of me trying these on. Um, under First, I'm going to do my regular underwear under leggings, then um, another pair of Spanx under leggings, and then these Spanx under leggings, and then I'll show because I don't like these things, I only tried them under leggings. I feel like leggings is good because leggings really shows your whole figure, like you can't hide anything in leggings. Um, and then I showed them under the Fashion Nova skinny jeans, and also I showed them under a dress. So to start with these ones, the back is lace, which is beautiful, but if you are like me and you carry most of your weight in your thighs and ass area, I would not recommend these ones. I bought them because they were on sale they were $18.20. I don't know if why, but the red ones were on sale for some reason, and I was like, no one's gonna see my underwear, I'm buying the red ones. Um, but the issue is, the lace, I mean, lace is not stretchy. It's a little bit stretchy, but it's not as stretchy as like the actual like Spanx material. This material up here is so nice, it's stretchy, it's comfortable, but the lace isn't, so I find it was a little bit tight around my ass, and also, if you're a thick girl, I hate lace detailing right here. I thought it would be nice to kind of hide where my underwear cuts, but it's actually not nice because it just kind of bunches up in that area where like your leg and your crotch meet and it's just like really uncomfortable because like lace in general isn't comfortable. So if you are like skinny on the bottom, you're just looking for some nice high-waisted underwear, I'd recommend these, but like if you're a fuller, like if you're any fuller than me, hell no, and if you're as full as me, hell no, like these all I have no choice but to keep because they're underwear and you can't return underwear, but like, no. So then I bought two pairs of what they call their undetectable brief. And they're basically the same underwear. I'm gonna show the right ones because they show it better on camera. I feel like they're the same underwear as that, the same cut, but they don't have any lace on them. As you can see here, hold on. Let me line them up. As you can see here, the lace comes down further than, hold on. So this is the cut of the underwear. This one it does come down a little lower on the leg than this one does before the lace starts. But the lace comes down a lot further, but again, the lace does nothing. So they come down nice on the legs. They are full bottom. Um, the material over the butt is not, is like, so there's like this material here, which is just like a nice stretchy material. It's definitely not going to suck you in like actual Spanx do, but it's just going to help to kind of smooth some things out and just not cut you in weird places and just kind of suck your little handles in, which is what I want. But the material on the butt in these ones is so stretchy. So if you got a badonka donk like me, girl, these underwear are going to be so fucking comfortable. Like they're so like, look at them. The butt is a little bit like see-through. Can you see me through it? Probably not. But I can see the light through. It's a little see-through, but like they're underwear. I don't care if they're see-through. Um, so yeah, I have these ones in a, in the red, which were also on sale for eighteen fifty. And then I um I bought the black ones as well, which were twenty six dollars, I believe, as the full price. Yeah, these were twenty six dollars full price. It's a little expensive for like a pair of underwear, but honestly, I'm obsessed with these underwear. They're the exact same as the other ones. Like if you find a color that's on sale, buy it. Like who cares? The butt is. Like this nice, soft, super stretchy material. Um, I got mine in a size medium. I will leave my measurements below, but I believe I'm like a 31 inch waist and a 42 inch hips, if that helps anybody. And I'm a size medium. I went by their size chart, but like I said, I also went and tried to pair on in real life because like I was uh, concerned that they wouldn't fit me. These are the perfect underwear to wear with skinny, with high waisted skinny jeans. If you want to wear a crop top with it, it really helps to shape your business. Um, I find that like my hip dips are still there because I have them and I can't get away with them. And like my hip dips are like really kind of like at the bottom of where underwear cuts, so it's hard to like find underwear that would cover that without being like that whole short situation that I don't want. 
but I really find that these really do help to just smooth out your stomach, suck it in a little bit without being, it's not constricting at all. These underwear are so comfortable. You don't feel like you're wearing Spanx at all and I would 100% wear these every single day. I have two pairs, but I'm definitely gonna buy a bunch more. They're a little pricey, so I'll probably just like start collecting them like one here, one there, because like $26, I'm used to buying my underwear like seven for 25 at Lucenza, but honestly, I love these. I think they make me look great in clothes. Like for days when I'm not, when like, if I wear skinny jeans, normally I'll just wear like a normal shirt with it and you can't see anything. So like I'll just wear my regular underwear, but I love these underwear. Is it weird that I'm like doing an underwear haul and talking about how much I love underwear? I don't care. I love these underwear. Okay, and then I bought a pair of like more actual Spanx. And these are called, hold on. These are called the Encore High Waisted Brief. Um, I got the shade Medium Nude. These were $68, so like a little pricier, but I wanted shapewear that I could wear with dresses, like maxi dresses, uh, body cons. I have this really kind of slutty body con from Fashion Nova that I'm gonna try this on with and I'll show you. It's super cute. But I wanted something that would be, that I could slip on. I originally had bought shapewear that was like, um, it was like a dress kind of, like it wasn't, it didn't have a crotch. But then I was like, if I wear underwear with that, it's gonna show anyways, because like the shapewear can't hide my underwear. And like, I'm not the kind, I don't wanna be, is it Paris Hilton or Britney Spears? I don't know. I don't want either of those moments where you can see, someone sees my vagina. I'm just out, just don't want it. So I bought these ones, as you can see, they have, um, a panel in the front, the back is a little stretchier because like, I mean, most people want their situation in the front dealt with. And the best part about them is they have, um, like a bodysuit crotch where it clasps together with two, it was like, it's, it's like a bra. Um, because getting these ones, like the other ones just slip on like regular underwear, they're fine, but getting these on, Girl, I broke a sweat today getting these on. And once they're on, like they're comfortable, you can feel yourself being sucked in. Like they're, they don't feel like nothing, but they're definitely way more comfortable than other Spanx I've worn. But you're never getting them off again. And there's no reason to take them off to pee. So I love there's a little crotch opening so you can pee because like that's what we all need in our lives is a crotch opening to pee, especially in Spanx. Um, so I want to show you the inside here to see that they have the Spanx panel. Um, this does go up all the way to kind of your bra. You can see in the clip, my dress is low enough in the back that you can see my bra and you can see where the Spanx end under my bra. And they also come with these little, um, here, I'll show you here. There's a little, like a little loop here, like your bra would have, and they come with straps. I left them in the other room, so like I'm not going to get them, but they come with straps so that you can actually hook it over your bra to kind of help hold it up if you feel like it's slipping down or you need help holding it up. I don't think you would need help holding it up. Like it's pretty, it felt pretty up there to me, but yeah, so these ones are, these I also got in a size medium and like, girl, it was a workout. Like maybe I should have got a large, but then I'm like, if I was a medium in the underwear, medium in this should fit. It just probably is a fucking workout to get. I wanted to film this video because like I didn't see a lot of people talking about like, actual spanx it's all about shapewear and like waist trainers and like i'm not trying to wear a fucking waist trainer no i just want something that will make my situation look better in clothing that's all i want i want undergarments that will make me look better in clothing without having to put on full-on spanx all the time and those underwear are fucking bomb i will link them below on the spanx website so you can get them if you want them but i just think they're amazing I can't believe I'm doing a video about underwear right now, but like they're so fantastic. I'm definitely gonna buy some more. I'm going to New Orleans in April and I really, really wanna buy a couple more pairs before I go because like I wanna wear them every day of my trip, but I only have three pairs. So that's the thing. I'm gonna have to take advantage of the laundry at the hotel there. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have any other questions, let me know down below and I'll try to answer whatever I can. Um, thank you guys for watching and not leaving mean comments about my body. Thank you. I know what it looks like, and I quite enjoy it. So suck a dick. Bye.